Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. So continue with the compensation. We are going to perform these tasks uh, for the workforce compensation plan. Today we are going to perform the how we can configure the approvals and how we can configure the compensation change statements. So let's just move on to the application and perform these tasks. So we have to log in as a HR specialist here, and then we have to go to the my client group and open the compensation app. Here under the workforce compensation, here we have the compensation plan. So first we need to create our compensation plan. Then we can perform the approval processes. Let's give the meaningful name here. Okay, let's create it. Okay, so here we have to go to the approvals and notification and change compensation statements. First, we have to go to this task, click on it. Then here you can select your approval mode. What are the mode of approval in your compensation plan? What are the submit mode? What are the withdraw mode? you can manage here. So here in the approval mode, if approval anytime not selected here, select the approval anytime. And here you have two other choices. The manager must first submit and the disable approvals. So these are the other option, but we have to select this one, the approve anytime for the approval mode and for the submit mode also we select the submit anytime here also you have two option all managers must be approved and disable submit okay let's select this submit anytime and save the information after the confirmation click on the save and close here you can see you can see here the task is completed now. Let's move on to the compensation change statement now. Okay, so we are going to enable compensation statement and create the statement group and associate the formatted template with the display name and enable it to be the generated at any time as a PDF. Okay, so First, we have to select here yes to enable this worker statement option. And in the statement group, we have to go to the manage statement group. Okay, here you can see the different statement group are visible here. Let's click on the create icon to create our own okay, let's cancel this again click on okay. here we have to give the appropriate name let's give fusion Compensation statements. Okay, and when you fill this information here, you can see the templates. So you have to fill the template name here, the display name, the criteria. Okay, so let's give the template name. We have to find the annual compensation plan dot RTF. Annual compensation plan statement dot RTF. Okay, then 
in the display name we had fill the name here let's give the fusion compensation change statement sorry change header okay so let's save the information here an object of type this window already exist okay let's change the name here okay it's changed here now let's save the information after the receiving the confirmation let's click on the save and close okay so here we have to select our statement group we just created so we have to search our statement group so here it is let's associate this statement group our compensation change statement option okay so here you can see the statement generating timing so uh, you have three options here worker post to post to hr worker posted to hr or who received final approval and you have third option any worker in any status so i am going to select this any worker in any status so it's more convenient then in the output format what in what format do you want the output so i am going to select the pdf here okay and in the statement delivery you have two options centrally managed and stored and printed at delivery by managers so here we have to select the centrally managed and stored option okay so here you can see when we select the statement delivery there is a information extra information here if this plan contains stored statement you should run the process workforce compensation change statement batch processes in replace mode when you change this value okay and then we have to allow the tagged release of statement let's save the information after the confirmation Let's save and close. Okay, so this is how we can configure the approvals and we can configure the compensation change statement. Okay, so I hope this method is clear to you how you can configure your approvals and compensation change statement. So thank you so much for watching the video.